if you're not using this component of Evernote, you're missing out. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. In the pencil and paper world, what do you do when you're reading a magazine and you come across an article that you want to save? You take a pair of scissors and you clip it, right? Then you might hole punch the article and put it in a notebook. In the digital world, you can do the same thing with the Evernote Web Clipper. To get started, download the Evernote Web Clipper. It's a browser extension. Simply search for Evernote Web Clipper and install it. You'll see it as an elephant head icon in the toolbar. When you come across something on the internet you want to make your own, click the Web Clipper. The Web Clipper opens. You can now simply click Save Clip and now go on with your work. Your clip is saved. And for me, the clip will be saved in my default notebook, one that I call Dot Inbox. But from the menu that you'll see, you can select any notebook that you like and save the clip there. You also have the options to add a, a tag or comments before saving the clip. The article now becomes yours forever. We all know how a web page that's here today can be gone tomorrow. And we've all experienced running into dead links that no longer have access to the information. But what you've clipped with that web clipper becomes a permanent part of Evernote. And yes, Evernote does automatically save the URL from which you clip the information so that you can always know where you got it and you can return to the original URL whenever you like, provided it's still there. And if it's not, you've still got the information. Evernote also allows for different kinds of clips. So let's go through them. I'm on another page from my own website and clicked the web clipper. If I choose article, look what happens. By default, Evernote chooses the text and includes other elements on the page. But if I click the little plus or minus signs at the top or bottom of the clip, I can instruct Evernote to include more or less in the clip before saving. Whatever you clip retains its original formatting in terms of fonts, clickable links, etc. But if you want to make edits, you can. There is a web clip title bar at the top of the content. Click it. And then click the magic wand that appears. You can now add text, delete text, or do anything you like with that content. The next option is called multi-select. Sometimes what you want is maybe the first paragraph, the fourth paragraph, the 10th paragraph, and a particular image. Well, just hover your mouse over the different parts of the page and click the parts you want to clip. When you view your resulting note, you see that you can edit that information. You can add more information. You can delete some information. Evernote is doing so much more than taking a picture of that web page. The next option is called Simplified Article, and it's my favorite. Often what you want is the text and the relevant images that appear within the body. You don't want the ads around the sides or at the bottom. Simplified article delivers exactly what it advertises. When you look at your note in Evernote, click anywhere and add text as you desire. Imagine clipping an article related to a college lecture and then annotating the results to include the remarks the professor made. The next option is called full page. Frankly, I rarely use it, but if you want every element on the page, including the ads that are around it, the footers, the headers, everything that you see on the screen, well, this selection does that. The next option is called bookmark. Earlier, we talked about being able to save information as it appears right now, because it may go away later. But what about those times when you know a website is going to be updated and what you want is 
what's always the latest version. Well, that's where the bookmark option comes in handy. Uh, Evernote saves a new note with the title, URL, an image, and a short description. And when you go to that note, when you click on it, it takes you to the URL. So you're always seeing the latest and greatest version of that website. The final option is called Screenshot. To give you an example of how I use that option, I'm recording this video shortly after Black Friday and Cyber Monday, days when I made quite a few online purchases. Well, you know how when you finish the purchase, you're shown a screen that tells you what you purchased, the cost, gives you the confirmation, uh, the expected date of arrival, and perhaps even a phone number to call for questions. That's valuable information. Maybe you even print it, but that's more paper to keep up with. In a digital world, we have a better option. Use the Evernote Web Clipper to take a screenshot. Click and drag the portion of the screen that you want. Now, as the merchandise starts to arrive, check it against the various notes that you clipped and just delete them as you check them off. Things get even better with the screenshot option. Once you've selected the portion of the screen that you want, you see an option to annotate your screenshot. You can add highlights, type text, add shapes, blur parts of the image, crop it, or any combination, then save the clip. Before we leave this discussion of the Evernote Web Clipper, the final element is to handle the one-time settings. When you click the little elephant head icon in your browser's toolbar to select the Evernote Web Clipper, you're going to see a little cog at the bottom. Click it. Here is where I indicate the notebook that I want all of my clips to go to. For me, it's my default notebook called Dot Inbox. I do not want smart filing. You could choose a default tag to be applied to all new notes created with the Evernote Web Clipper. I choose not to do that. For the remaining choices, I selected Use Last Used Clip Format as the default. For the After Clip selection, I chose Show Successful Clip Dialog. I've also checked Show Evernote Content Related to My Web Searches and show save to Evernote button in PDF pages. The Evernote Web Clipper with all of the features that you hear is available in all Evernote plans, including Evernote free. And I hope that one never changes. Plenty of other software has some type of Web Clipper. Some are better than others. The Web Clipper is one place where Evernote truly shines. If this content is of value to you, there's much more where that came from. Join the email list. You can do that right now at frankbuck.org. The sign up button is on the homepage. That way you'll never miss a thing. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck helping you get organized and make it look easy. <music>